Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I think uh, yesterday I shared uh, a voice note with you in this group which has since gone viral and uh, I told you that the reason why UPN will be removed from power is because there are no politicians in UPN, these are businessmen and women and uh, people who don't understand politics. A church need help. He's a businessman, he doesn't understand politics. That is why it took him many years to become a president. And they're about to remove him. And it's going to be very painful. I spoke about this, it was only yesterday. I said, about, I said something about this meeting that is taking place. Uh, UPND have made things so difficult for themselves. Why? Because of greediness. The election that is going to take place in 2026 will be a tribal and uh, a religious election. Catholic will fight to the nail. And as we know, SDA is not a church that does politics. Once they are all over a church now, they are even calling him in Ghana. And I wouldn't be shocked, shocked to hear that he has gone to Ghana to go and waste time in Ghana, the name of going for church. So the question will be, where was SDA all this time when he was struggling for power? So SDA will never fight uh, Catholic. Catholic has upper hand in politics. Number two is going to be Tonga versus the rest of the tribe in Zambia. I know what I'm talking about. I, I, I think it's only a fool that hear my advice or hear my warning and doesn't take it. I was just talking about this yesterday. Yeah, day, today. In 2025, the campaign that is coming, <laughs> all these guys who are making noise for UPN, the all these guys who are insulting CR1, all these small, small pages for UPN, they run by hungry people. You won't even survive. You will be afraid to post something. Even the president himself will be afraid to post something. We did this to Edgar Lung. I mean, <laughs> I, um, I said before, that was when you just won election. This, the election is our sacrifice. And I watch few individuals eating our sacrifice eating our sacrifice i watched somebody like chibamba kanyama who never stood a bullet for one day who never even spoke one single thing of campaign one single camp you never even wrote one single campaign for a church being appointed as an ambassador is now enjoying in the USA. The people that took the bullet for a church are still roaming the streets. 
nobody cares about. The 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 one they appointed as the D, DMU coordinator or what what chairperson. All these guys. I mean, I never by the time election uh, campaign was going on, I never saw any of this. All the people that took bullet for HH are poor, languishing on the street. Ministers in, have embraced uh, PF cadres that understood how to do deals and so on. They have embraced criminals. They don't want to work with their people. The president himself has forgotten the people that fought for him. The people that took bullet for him, it's, he wakes up now, he appoints anyone from anywhere. The people that fought are complaining. 2025 will be hot. I want to see if Chibamba Kanyama and those people who the president is appointing, who never sacrificed for UPN, I want to see them stand and fight Catholic. And, and I want to see them stand and defend. They will tell us what the president, what President HH has achieved in five years, compared to the campaign that is about to come. Look, I said this before when I was starting with uh, with PF. They were reluctant, they were, hey, no, say one is foolish, no one is listening to see a one. <laughs> Until uh, two months before the election, they started going, see a one, we want to do this, we want to do that. <laughs> we want to build a, we want to build a church, we want to give you how many thousand dollars, what, what, what. I look at them. I laugh. In politics, you don't use people. I'm telling you, uh, UPND is at the verge of losing power. And so long as things remain like this, the people that fought for the party are on the street, hungry, not doing anything. Ministers are making deals and billion presidential presidential advisors are making deals in millions. And the, the president is advising youths, UPND cadres to form cooperative. Form cooperative, where is the money to finance the cooperative? How many of these guys that form cooperative have benefited? There is a way to do politics. I explained this thing before. It's not by cooperative. This, you know, it, uh, if the president does not have a political advice, he must let us know. The one that is advising the president politically is an enemy to the president. It's not telling the president the truth. He doesn't even know anything about politics. The so-called political advisor to the president doesn't know anything about politics. If he knows about politics, things would be okay. But he doesn't know. So we still have time. I just said it yesterday, the meeting that is going on between the Catholic and Eddie Galungo. I see if I was there. <laughs> Today it came out in public, in open. UPND must be ready to to defend or to they must be ready to stand up and prove to other tribes the reason why why they must vote for them because i said it before what is coming in this election that is coming in 2026 is tribe is tribe you will not hear anything now no one will talk i'm not talking i'm just letting you know that what i was telling you yesterday has happened i'm not talking but in 2025 it will be hot they must tell the catholic the reason why uh, hh must continue being a president what is coming will be too strong for 
uh, this uh, UPND jokers on Facebook and uh, thank God the president has also told them to leave Facebook they must go and start farming because it will be hot on Facebook in 2025 this is 2023 we still have two years to go but keep this everything that I say keep them when it happened tick them when I told you about this meeting taking place between Edgar Lungu and uh, and uh, Catholics uh, you, I know you didn't you didn't believe me but anyway you can see it is open it's in the mass newspaper you can tick that one it has come to pass wait for the rest of them to happen also this is DJ Mutati exclusive Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.